Hey what's up guys, so recently I've done a radiation zone tutorial and in that tutorial I showed you guys how to make radiation zones that have effects when you walk in the zone and the effect disappears when you get out. And I guess that um, I guess that the radiation actually doesn't have any effect except it, it like has a um, how do you say, an image appear and it fades out and whatever, but it doesn't have functionality. So today we're going to work on that um, zone or effect on that script and I'm going to link the, if you haven't watched the radiation zone video, I highly suggest you watch it first because this is a continu continuation of that one and you can't really follow if you um, haven't watched that one. So if you're here just to see how um, you can access variables from different scripts in this one, you can also stay for that. So basically what we're doing in this video is we're going to the radiation script that we made. I have made some changes to it and we're adding a, we're accessing a different script. So if you're using the third person character um, script, the, um, or first person character, uh, the one you get in the standard assets, here you go, third person you control, you user control, etc. If you're using that character, then you're gonna have to uh, f put this where it says using Unity Engine. You're gonna have to say using Unity Standard Assets dot characters dot third person, so it knows that we're using the standard assets. Because when you put that, only then you can access the third person character user script, um, the third person character script that's on your player. And another thing you want to do is you want to go to your third person character script that you have on your player. If you're not using the Unity standard assets third person uh, character script, if you're using your own script, just go to it, add a public variable as I added in the third person character. You have to add this here as well. Add a variable called public float health and set it to whatever amount you want. Then you have to make it public though and remember the name. Then you go to the radiation script that we made. Um, the third person character, I just access, I, ac um, I just access it here, I guess, made it that it's called user script and said what user script actually is. So user in the start uh, function. So user script is game object dot find player because the third person character script is on our player. And I get the component of the third person character. Once I've got the component, I have all the public variables, everything here, but we're mainly going to focus on the uh, public float health. Maybe in the future, the animator, so when the health reaches zero, you're going to die. Maybe in the future video, if you want that, comment down below so you know what you need and what you want to watch. And when I, um, so when I have accessed, when I've declared what user script is and all the things that I have in it, when I enter the radiation and if the tag is player, the radiation effect set is true that we've done this in the past video. So we want to invoke repeating the take damage. But before we even know what take damage is, we have to state it down below. So we made a, I made a function called take damage, um, which is basically what basically says that user script dot health is user script dot health the value minus the damage so if the value is a hundred the when you take the damage the value is going to be a hundred minus the damage you set I set it personally to five um, I set it in the inspector so when you enter the trigger I want to invoke repeat the take damage function what invoke repeating is it just uh, calls a function but repeats it so as you can see string method name it calls the method function however you want to call it you have to put it in parenthesis, parenthesis, parenthesis. It also has a repeat rate, the time that it happens, and the repeat rate, the time it happens as well. So, uh, I wanna when I enter the radiation, I want to I want it to start after one second and repeat every every second, I guess. So you're gonna take five damage, or I think I set it to five. I'm not sure. Um, radiation zone let's see um, where is the cube it's here so I set the damage to five so you're gonna take five damage every second that you stand in the cube so basically how you set this up you just create the the cube you put the radiation script with the, these new add-ons on 
and when you another thing is when you exit out of the cube you don't want to keep receiving damage so here where i stated what happens when you exit the trigger you have to add cancel invoke which just cancels all the invokes that are currently called or are repeating in the in the script so basically um you get an effect like this so watch watch close by kakashi's um health over here so we have health and when we walk in the cube we start losing health every five seconds and we also have the effect i just didn't uh, remove the mesh render over here when we exit the cube we don't take damage anymore when we walk in again we start taking damage so i guess it's pretty simple if you want a video on me showing you guys um like when you reach zero health what happens how to stop it from going under zero and for example when you reach zero an animation plays or you die or a sound just comment down below and i'll do that as well so if you enjoyed it if it helped you like the video and i'll see you in a future one bye